What's good with the YouTube? Y'all right now, this is Big Flacco with the comics reaction where we smash, dash, and react. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire reactions. And as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, yeah, once again, we're going to be talking about Swifty Blue and the reaction to everything that's been going on on the internet. Now, I've seen everything like the last week from him allegedly getting stabbed. And then I kind of put out there that was fake information um, to him getting jumped, to him now being a dropout. All kinds of different stuff has circulated around Swifty Blue. As well as months before, he was deemed no good. Apparently, he made it back. So you already know what time it is there. Yeah, somebody's paying. Okay, so my reaction to it is like this, right? Apparently, Swifty's young. He's basically a kid. He's never really been nowhere. He's maybe been around a few individuals, maybe got a little collecha and learned some things, right? But apparently he's making mistake after mistake. Why hasn't anybody took the initiative to pretty much put Swifty under their wing, show him the ropes, keep his head above water and away from the political bullshit? And what I mean by political bullshit, I mean not being involved in it, but not speaking on it. See, sometimes people speak out of turn. And you start to see all the different consequences, the different attacks, the different beefs that he's had based upon speaking out of turn from time to time. See, he's always been his worst enemy. You know, he, he got a lot of talent. But when it comes to talent, that doesn't mean shit when you fucking self-sabotage. And that's been the story of fucking Swifty since I've watched him on YouTube. And I think the kid got some talent. I'm going to keep it real. But like anything, what happens when you start to succeed, when you start to flourish, when you start to get a name? Yeah, the hate is real. That's one thing about YouTube that's really surfaced is the tribalism, the competition, the jealousy, the envy, the not wanting to see the next man succeed. It doesn't matter what type of genre you're in, whether you're a rapper, a podcaster, um, a promoter, you're always going to witness hate that comes from your own kind, even more so from your own kind. And it's kind of hard to really fault Swifty. Unless he's that hard-headed of an individual. I think that nobody's really took uh, took the lead to try to lace him up and put him in the right direction. That's why every fucking turn that he makes, there's always some drama that's associated with it. He's one of those ones that they just want to attack. I used to joke around and call him the South Side Takashi 69, right? Because that's the way he looks and that's the way he gets treated at times, right? If you really think about it, since Swifty's really kind of blew up the last few years on social media, right? How many rappers or how many individuals with any type of pull have really sat there and stood up for him? Really, there hasn't been anybody. So he's been having to do this all on his own. And being that he kind of lacks the understanding of, of how things kind of work in prison, street politics and whatnot, he's made a lot of fucking mistakes. And he has built an image that just hasn't worked. You know, I thought that he was starting to mature a little bit recently, you know, but sometimes he just can't help himself. You know, that's when you wonder, like, when I seen the stuff that was going on with Chito Ranas, right, on the uh, podcast he was on with Mr. Uh, Criminal, right, I was wondering why Mr. Criminal didn't even stop that podcast or say, like, hold on, let's talk off here and, like, try to, you know, guide the youngster in the right direction. A lot of these individuals do not care about the next man. They only worry about themselves. And that's the thing that I see with Swifty. He's kind of been viewed as a threat. So when you're a threat... You're always going to have those that are going to be quickly trying to get rid of you. Now, I speak from someone who's unbiased. I have no attachment or affiliations with anything down south. Therefore, I can take a step back and watch everything that's going on and give you guys really a fair fucking assessment of how I perceive it. Because it doesn't affect me whether Swifty succeeds or he doesn't. Just like with all the other rappers from down south, it doesn't really affect me. Therefore, if I speak, I'm only going to speak the truth of what I've witnessed. So basically what I've witnessed is that Swifty's pretty much gone at it with almost every rapper from down south in one form or one fashion. He's went at it with Mr. Criminal. Alleged he had signed with him. Spoke on that a little bit too much. He went at it with King Little G. King Little G allegedly slapped him. And they said that Swifty walked away. He went at it with a Crumpa Raider, right? He said that he couldn't rock with Swifty if he's going to get slapped and just walk away. Who else did he go at it with? He went at it pretty much with everybody, man. And then there was that time period where... They felt that he was co-signing shit that WAC 100 was saying. So he hasn't made the best decisions for people <clears throat> out there to respect him. And the same thing could be said. He went at it with Bozo. 
and actually called Bozo a fucking dropout. Now, I'm not one of the uh, Bozo's fucking biggest fans, right? But at the same token, man, I'm not going to sit there and put any label or jacket, and I still haven't put no label or jacket on that man, right? So these are things that he's made as far as mistakes in the game that it's kind of hard to fucking sit there and give the man a pass. On top of the issues that he had, basically, with the, with the big homies down that way. We already know a little bit of details about that. You already know he's only back in the fold because he's paying. That's it. Now, I'm not going to make excuses for the man doing all this stuff because at the end of the day, he's still a man, right? But what I am going to say is, <clears throat> being that he doesn't have no collection, no schooling, why didn't anybody come and pretty much try to guide him in the right direction? Why didn't anybody take him under the wing, wing knowing that the potential that he has? Even some of these other rappers, instead of trying to help him, they were pretty much quick to pretty much brush him to the side. Now, I get it. He's probably not one of those easy individuals to work with. He's kind of flamboyant. And I don't mean to clown when I say this, but he looks like the South Side version of Takashi 6 9 Someone who's just trying to fit in, but at the same token, they're trying too fucking hard. They're trying to impress people. And like I said, you can build your own image, but can you live up to that image? It got so bad that Chito Ranas, right, who was his boy, they made hella good music together. They were rocking hard together. Had to step away from him when he got to the county jail because he was getting a lot of backlash for fucking with uh, Swifty. That's the one thing that you really don't see from, um, you know, the communities that we have, like, in the videos and whatnot. When you see someone with potential, right, but they're making wrong choices and wrong mistakes, you don't really see too many individuals that sit there and try to lead them or give them the proper guidance. Everybody only wants something from the man. And so I could see where that probably could potentially turn him away from getting any type of help or assistance. But definitely this dude needs some schooling. He needs some clutch up. And his rap career may be fucking done by all the fucking shit that he's done, which is unfortunate because the dude, the kid has talent, man. Some of those rappers he was beefing with, he's way, he got way more talent than them. But it's the way he carries himself and how he had his interactions with them, which has made a lot of these individuals just push away from him. Like I said, I'm kind of a neutral party. I have no involvement. But this is what I see as far as a bystander who's just in the stands watching. No one wants to fuck with dude. He's created that mess for himself. So the only way for him to get back in line is someone's going to have to take him under their wing and fucking give him the right glitch up and show him the ropes. And he just needs to humble himself. The dude talks way too much at times and he fucking pretty much buries himself with his own words. Anyways, the Southsiders, the rap game, it's fucking crazy, man. I've, I've been watching it the last two years and... It all intertwines with the podcast and whatnot. They all fucking either support each other or go against each other. They either beef or, or they're cool. And, you know, some of the stuff that I see amongst them is fucking crazy. Just like blatant disrespect. Calling people out of their names, calling each other cowards, pull up. And, man, that's that's something, I guess, because where I grew up, it's a little bit different in Northern California. And the Vitals in Northern California, we're not allowed to set trip like that. We have to promote unity. You know, whether you like the people or not, I guess down south, it's a little bit more acceptable, which makes the rap game down there a little bit more interesting. After the latest incident at the court right there uh, in Compton, he got jumped. You know, as far as my opinion on that, I don't know why people are like, you know, acting like it's such a big deal. He got jumped. When has ever get, got jumped mean that you're a coward, right? Now, the issue by him getting smacked that's a whole nother issue, man. But no one's really came out and said that they were there and witnessed it, at least to my knowledge. So like I said, man, sometimes I look at all this shit that's going on. Maybe they're all in it for clout. Who knows? Anyways, this is my opinion of Swifty and all the stuff that's going on. I hope that someone pretty much takes him under the wing, man, and, and tries to give him a, a little bit of guidance because I think this is his last chance. I think pretty much... To be honest with you, I think it's already a wrap. But if he does have any more chances in the game, I hope someone tries to help him because the boy does have talent. With that said, it's your boy Flacco from A Convict's Reaction. I'm out.